Stars of Alcraft and I'm Christy. Hello everyone. How are you today? I hope you all are having a wonderful July summer day. It is still scorching. Probably will be for a couple more months. What I have for you today are some items uh, from Tapestry Market to review. I love Tapestry Market. Their selection is astounding. I do think they offer good quality kits and good quality products and they're exclusively cross stitch so their price ranges from expensive to budget friendly they have sales all the time and if you haven't been to tapestry market i will have a link down below for you to see they have free shipping over 49 dollars and they have buy four get one free right now which is a pretty good deal i do have a discount code for you and that is my name christy k-r-i-s-t-y if you put that in in the promo code area at checkout you'll get 10 percent off your order and that works in conjunction with their free shipping over 49 and the buy four get one free so you put five items in your cart and probably the lowest price item will be your free item you can still use that 10 percent discount code too so that will also be down below in the description huge hello to my subscribers and all my new subscribers yay thank you you guys we made it to 2500 I'm so so thrilled I never thought that day would come I really really appreciate you all and thank you for taking time to watch my channel if you do like this video hit that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos okay so I have four things to show you today we're gonna start with this first one and this is a Joyk Sunday kit. It is a little snowman going down a hill on a sled. I think this is precious. It's so cute. And even though it is July, it's a good time to start on your winter and holiday and Christmas projects. So I'm going to be throwing in a little random Christmas project here and there for July and August. And I think he's precious. This is a partial kit. We'll take a look at it. It's 14 count. 26 by 23 centimeters wonderful enjoy Sunday instructions on the back I really love that they give descriptions of how to do the stitches because I think this stitch has quarter stitch back stitch and there's your quarter stitch right there back stitch and full stitch along with how to soak your pattern how to find your flaws tips and tricks everything you need to know so this is called a Christmas Snowman 2. I just think he's precious. You get a better look at him there. But isn't he just a cutie? He's so sweet. He's got an honest sled with a bird on his scarf and a bunny between his legs, a little house and trees with snow on him and some birds flying around. I just think he's adorable. Absolutely adorable. This will be a kid I will definitely make. Here's our pattern another picture we've got 18 colors full stitch five back stitch and five or six back stitch and five quarter stitch along with the DMC codes and the symbols that you will use to find them on this pattern so it's all gridded you can write on this if you have to all this red here that is symbol H this is all 5200 white so that's how much white is in this and then these areas up in here, you won't stitch at all. If there's not any kind of marking in a square, don't stitch it. So that is why this is a partial kit and not a full coverage kit. Wonderful, wonderful instructions. 105 stitches across by 99 high. Is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah, by 99 high. And this is the pattern. It's nice and little with your product number and the name of the kit, your legend on the side to tell you. Now one thing about Joy Sunday, for those of you that don't know, your symbols on your paper pattern are not gonna be the same as on your actual fabric. So keep that in mind and so you don't get confused between the two. So let's get a measurement on this cute little picture. He's just so cute, so little. That should stitch up really nicely because you've got a lot of nice color blocking areas. And the confetti on this is not bad at all. This is an easy one. So we've got <clears throat> the actual picture itself. 
and there's a little over seven and a half inches across by about seven and a quarter inches vertically but very clearly printed nice easy to see easy to hold yes it's stiff but it will soften up it's not as stiff as some I really like the quality of Joy Sunday their kits are made really really well and then we have the floss now let's see nice not vibrant, very subtle, muted colors. They give you two needles, and they're on this floss organizer that I love because not only does it tell you the number and the DMC code, but it tells you how much they give you. It already has the product number stamped on there. It tells you it's a 14 count. So out of this six, six strand floss, you'll pull out and use two strands. Not a whole lot of floss except for all this white, which is all that red area I showed you on the pattern. But this is a very, very nice kit. Very easy. And I just think he is precious. Mm -hmm. I just think he's so cute. So I think after I get my silk sunflowers done, I might just give this one a start. Because, yeah, that'll go really fast, I think be really fast really easy I'm not too sure where all these quarter stitches go but I'll have to take a good look at it and see and the back stitching I you know it just adds uh, detail to it that I think is wonderful and it's not that bad so I think this would be a good kit to do so let me get this put in there and we will move on Okay, I had seen these around for a long time, and Silly Me didn't know what they were for. I finally figured it out. But this is a, a pillow kit. And it is, this pillow has is all marked all the way from 1 to 99 with the squares. And it is so that you can, if you have a big kit that you're working on, you can pre-thread some needles, and then you can just have your needles with your threads sticking in the number of whatever pattern you're doing and just grab as you go. Love this idea. I don't know why I never paid attention to this until recently and then it was like, oh, I've got to have one of those. So here's what you get in your kit. You get, ooh, all the stuffing. I don't want to mess that up little bits everywhere. You get your floss, which is just eight basic colors. Lots of it too. And then you get two, two needles. So here's what we got. We have our pattern. You don't need a paper pattern with this. I love the fact that they gave you a separate picture. You can keep this in your uh, cross stitch log or planner if you have one. But this is, I believe, 11 count. And then there's your DMC codes of your colors down here. And then you just match up the color, like this yellow around the 80 is going to be number 1, 307. Very, 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 very easy to stitch up. The only thing is I don't have a sewing machine, so I will just be winging it, probably be turning it inside out stitching I'll just be stitching along the edges here leave a little opening to flip it out and stuff it up but I just love these I think they're cute I think I have another one coming that I ordered from someone else do any of you use these I would really like to know if you do I just think it's a wonderful idea and I don't know what took me so long to figure that one out let me just get this stuffing back in here because it's Oh, so soft. I could just sit here and just do that. And then we've got the floss. Now, this little pillow was $7.99. That snowman was also $7.99. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside. Okay, this next kit we have is a 
DIY cross stitch kit. Now, I didn't know that when I ordered it. Let's see if this one's any better than the one that I got from DIY Choose. This kit was $14.99. Hmm. Let's check, check it out. I pray it's better. I really, really do pray it's better. So I thought this was a really pretty picture of a hummingbird and some gorgeous flowers. I just thought it was really pretty. So that's clear enough. I don't have to insert a pic, uh, photograph. Now, look at this. We actually get a paper pattern, unlike the last one I showed you. I'm happy already. Now the edges on this are not surged, and this is some really st stiff fabric. But you get a paper pattern. 24 colors for this picture with the numbers, the symbols, the DMC codes, and the color chart. A whole lot of color blocking here, and that is number 3865. But this will be a nice kit to do. Yeah, there's a lot of confetti, but it's not crazy, crazy confetti. And this pattern is printed really, really clearly. You've got the little picture over here of what you're stitching, along with the product number. It's a 52 by 36 centimeter picture. We'll get a measurement on it. And then it's got the stitch count, 181 across by 112 vertically. Very, very happy this one has a paper pattern. Maybe that butterfly one I had, they just forgot to put it in. But let's look and see what the clarity of this kit looks like. Okay, let's look at it. I think it is a lot better. It's a lot more clearly marked. I think all those VIP cross-stitch kits that I have set aside to get rid of, I think I'm going to individually go through them again. And the ones that are clearly marked, I, I probably will keep. But yeah, it is not blurry. I'm not seeing any blur at all. The symbols are printed darkly as far as similar symbols in the same spot as far as color wise i'm not seeing a whole lot of that except maybe the green lines and the green x's and the green o's but they're printed clear enough that i can see those i mean i feel like i'm going over this with a fine tooth comb but boy when you're sewing on one of these stitching on one you want to be able to see what you're doing mm -hmm. So we have the same legend over here on the side and the symbols from the paper pattern do match the symbols on the actual fabric. Let's look at the floss. Now here they give you, they actually write the product number down on this floss card. Very, very pretty colors. I mean, I really love these colors. Greens, a bunch of greens and blues and purples. And then we've got our golds and yellows. No pinks. Well, maybe a light pink there, but very nice teal and green. Soft floss, really soft floss. And then they give you, now this is how they give it to you, a big, huge, this isn't wrapped up, so I'm thinking this is just a big, huge hank of that white, which would be number 24, 3865. <clears throat> very nice. Very, very nice. It's an 11 count, so you'll use two strands. But I'm happy with this kit. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Maybe it was just that one kit that was so horrible as far as the picture on the canvas being printed so blurrily and not getting a paper pattern with it. But this this is nice. Let's take a measurement of the, um, this is better, let me say, this is better, of the actual picture itself. So the picture is 16 inches wide, which is about 41 centimeters by not quite 10 and a quarter, 
which is 26 centimeters. So this measurement up here is telling you the size of the actual canvas, not the size of the picture. And I think it's precious. I think it's really, really cute. I mean, the confetti is not super, super bad compared to some I've seen. There's a lot of areas where you can get some fast stitching done. And if you don't want to do this background, you don't have to. It'll still look nice, I think. So, yeah, that this one I think I said was $14.99. Okay, now, this next one I absolutely love, and it's the last one I'm going to show you. I bought this one myself, and I did not get a price on it. Um, I will put the find the price and put the, it down below in the description. But this is a lion, and he is stunning. He's regal. He's got colors all the way around him, and I love him. I just love him. This is one of those no-name manufacturer kits. Let's see how good it is. I just love this lion. Oh my goodness. And the picture that they put on the paper pattern is so big, easy to see. You can cut this out and put this in your um, little book if you've got one, log book, planner. But isn't he just beautiful? Oh, I love him. Let's look at the paper pattern here. You've got your directions with your diagram, Joy Sunday style. Very easy to read. Up here you see it says it's an 11 count. Here's the item number. It's a 50 by 50 centimeters, 191 stitches by 191 stitches. Now how clear is this pattern? This is a really good size pattern too. I mean look, excuse me. This is a good size pattern. I mean, a square is as big as my thumb. This has actually 49 colors. Yay! Look at that. Another picture up here, and then we've got our legend with our color chart and our DMC codes. But 49 colors. Oh my goodness, this is going to be phenomenal. And a lot of color blocking areas. That's why you see those numbers all over the place. Very, very, very clearly printed paper pattern. Oh, I love him. I love him. Let's take a look at the fabric and see how that looks. He's just so beautiful. Okay, so they searched our edges, which we love. And let's get a measurement on how big this guy is. Oh, he's beautiful. Just beautiful. He is, the actual picture itself, 17 and a quarter inches wide and we've got a little over seven, 17 and a half inches vertically. He's, he's good size. I'm glad he's not any bigger, but oh, can you imagine how beautiful this is going to be when it's done? Here we've got our legend. Very nicely printed, easy to read. Let's take a look at the actual printing on the fabric. Very clear. I want to look up in that area with all the greens. So even though there's a bunch of different symbols up there, there's plus signs, circles, chevrons that are all green they are easy to read. I won't have a problem with that. Let's see if there's any place else. No, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking really good. There are a few more areas, like look over here in this red. No, it's not blurry. You've got the triangles. And you've got, what is that? The slashes and the triangles and the plus signs, and they're all the same color, but it's clear and it's easy to read. 
Now, if this was a smaller count, let's say a 16 or an 18 count, that could be a little bit confusing for me, but I just think this is phenomenal. This lion is just going to be stunning. What do you think? Isn't he pretty? Look at that. Let's take a look at the floss, but first we got our little toolkit with a little leopard on the back. Okay, so we have our adjustable threader, our, th our adjustable thimble. I told you I couldn't talk today. Our threader, and then we have our poofy ball with five needles, six needles. Yeah, five needles. Just need some scissors. And then they wrapped up the floss individually in its own little package, which I think is a really, really nice touch. I like that. They also have the floss marked with a label telling you what kit it belongs to with the product number and the size. I like that they do that too. It's little extra things like that that make me like a company. They take the time to do things that are important to us. Now, these hanks, because there's a lot of dark colors here, we'll look at them. This is a colorful lion. So we have, let's see, this is 823, 823, 939, and 939. So two hanks of 939, two hanks of 823, 40 in each hank. Now that's a lot of dark colors. But when you have colors like this against all those dark colors, it's just going to pop. So very, very pretty. Oh my goodness sakes. So on this one we have purples. Let's see, what color is that? 3834, kind of a mauvey purple. We've got beautiful teals and greens. And this blue is 3750, I believe. A coral, which one is that? 3328, oh, so pretty. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. A lot of pinks. Greens, light blues, medium blues, and then this looks like jewel tones practically. So that purple is 550, and then we've got 601, 602. Seven twenty and seven forty one, just beautiful colors. Is that six six six? No, this is four ninety eight red. Oh my goodness! Yeah, with the dark background here, the colors against it are just really going to stand out, and it's just going to be gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Love this kit. Love the picture. Love the floss. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. I couldn't resist him when I saw him. I had to get him. I thought he was just gorgeous. I love lions, and this guy is just stunning. So we'll see how it translates into a cross stitch as far as, like, his face. Maybe I'll do his face first. Yeah, that's it. At least his eyes and his nose and see how that comes out. And if that turns out good, then I'll know I can finish the rest of it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you to Tapestry Market for sending me these items for review. Please stay safe, stay cool, have a wonderful day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.